Hello friends, welcome in OCP technology. My name is Shripal and today I am going to show you how to install Oracle 10G on Linux 5.5 Red Hat Linux 5.5 So friends, for the Oracle 10G installation first of all you have to go in on www.ocptechnology.com Here your Oracle 10G installation is properly step by step available and follow these all are steps and you can successfully install your Oracle software Oracle Tangy software so let's see we follow it first step is mkdir u01 open new tab then mkdir u01 right then in second second step it's saying ungip your database folder which is you downloading downloaded downloaded from oracle.com website so I have also downloaded it. it is here this is the software of your oracle 10g ok unzip it ok now I am going to unzip it cd desktop unzip this hyphen d and your destination where you want to unzip it and then enter ok it's unzip then follow next method sorry next step next step is edit vi etc host file before edit it we have to check your host name host name command my name my host name rhel 5.local domain and check ip address f config command 110 now edit vi etc host and delete last one line then press i write here your ip address and your host name 5 dot domain and give your alternate name and name then save it ok then follow next step it's showing edit etcctl.conf file press i write here a comment anything setting for oracle and copy these all are parameter here and paste here and save it then next apply these all changes using this command ok next edit added release version file edit release change it uh, 5.5 into 4.5 
because our five five uh, Oracle ten G version is not supported to compatible for with five point five. That's why we are change it. After installation, we can change it again five point five. Now, now it's saying edit etc security limit dot con file. Then enter and uh, upside of end of file and right here these all are parameters copy here and paste here save it then next line is etc pam dot d login edit it paste here save it then step it connect to your dvd and iso file and install these all our rpms so we have to connect with your iso file we have iso file click on vm removable disk cd dvd and setting Browse here your ISO file and click on connect button. Then OK. Your ISO file is connected. Then CD Media. Going in server. copy all rpm from here and install it copy and paste here it is automatically installed in your machine when you paste here okay sometime it's showing that uh, rpm fail no such follow directory so for that we have required only 4 RPMs which is also available in your setup going on that path u01 and database tab there is RPM folder and L writes ls command and it's showing your all RPM 1, 2, 3 and 4 these 4 RPM are mandatory for that database so run it this one is already installed run second second one is also available already installed it's installed it's installed right now after installation after install that rpms you have you should follow next step this one add three group dba or install and open group add dba Upper and o install o install and add one user user at Oracle 
set password within this command set password set now assign a primary group and secondary group to oracle user primary group for you for hyphen small g and secondary group for hyphen capital G right so copy it paste here done and next is give permissions copy it paste here then next command change mode read and write permissions paste here okay then follow next step switch user in oracle user and uh, paste these all are in that file in bash file this one copy it and switch user oracle vi space dot bash underscore profile okay then right here paste here okay then save it and login with the Scott user exit here okay login with your oracle user then open terminal and bind cd u01 database and run uh, run installer enter it's showing like this graphical interface give your password for your admin user like this then next check your all warnings next then installed now finally your oracle database going for installation it will take some time then I will stop pause my video then continue now here you can set your password for your users click on password management and set your password yeah uncheck that user which you want to use suppose I want to use this code user and uncheck it and write here password then and I want to use HR user then HR user password then ok ok now now here two statement occur 
it's saying that open a new terminal window login as a root and run this both script on root user so open our new tab and login with a root user copy first one control c and paste here enter next click and control c then paste enter enter one more Done. Now exit. Exit. And OK. Exit. Do you want to exit? Yes. Now your Oracle installation has been completed, successfully completed. Now you can log in in your database and use your database. select name from v dollar database your database has been completed okay friends friends i hope you like my video and uh, don't forget subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel and share my video in your circle if you want to give any suggestion to me for related to my videos and any other topic of oracle and reddit so please write in my comment box thank you for watching my video thank you so much